Gun Gun Robot 2 Get my despair Please enter key Bad boys up What's up everyone? This is another new playthrough that we're going to be beginning on this channel Um Um I have so much going on in my mind I just woke up from a fat nap It's like midday Or not midday It's like It's like nighttime. I woke up from a very unhealthy nap And um I just want to play some Dunkin' Donuts too. So just a little background. Today we're going to be starting a new playthrough. Um, this is a visual novel. The estimated completion time is like 40 hours or something. Um, I actually have already played the... I haven't played. I haven't played the first one, but I watched the anime. I wanted to watch the sequel to the anime, but then I realized that this game actually doesn't have a anime sequel as a visual novel not a oh, sequel well i think the, i think the novel these visual novels came out first and i believe a visual novel is basically just like an anime but you get to play through it as if you're reading the story and you get to make decisions and like it's interactive i'm not 100 percent sure on like what exactly everything that a visual novel entails but i've always wanted to get into visual novels because i love watching anime ever since quarantine i've been watching anime and it's one of the greatest things ever um you know, people read books to escape from reality. For me, it's watching and well, not to escape from reality, but when you read a book, a lot of people, they like get lost in the world. That's me with anime. Um, so it's like a guilty pleasure of mine that I just enjoy myself uh, with myself. So I wanted to watch the second anime. One second. Okay. I'm just making sure OBS is recording. I wanted to start a the second anime, but there is no sequel to Dunkin' Donuts. Funny thing is that I call... I, I couldn't pronounce Danganronpa or whatever, Danganronpa, whatever it's called. Um, so just a quick form, my mind just read it really quick and thought of Dunkin' Donuts. So I've been calling it Dunkin' Donuts each time. So I watched season one of Dunkin' Donuts and it was, uh, I liked it and enjoyed it. We'll review it at some point if we ever have a chance to talk about it. I don't want to have a super long intro. But now that I want to watch the sequel, we're going to play the game and then get back to watching the anime. So, and like I said before, I really want to do visual novels on this channel. They're filthy long. Like this one's like 40 hours, so that's one of the reasons that I'm like, ah, eh, this is really long. But I thought about it as we just finished another game this morning. I'm going to be starting normal games anyways, but it would be cool to have like some days where I'm just, I don't feel like playing a video game, like actually like sweating out. So like Call of Duty style, so I could just put on a visual novel and, you know, record some and have some fun and just lay back, relax, drink some water, have some food and record for you guys. And just, it's like watching an anime, but it's more interactive. Um, so yeah, this is probably gonna take us longer than usual, but it is what it is. Some things, um, just for a heads up, I am playing, um, on PC. I'm playing on Xbox Game Pass. It has its second version. It used to have number one as well, but it ended up, um, ended up removing it. It left Game Pass, but two's there and it's not leaving anytime soon. Not yet, but I want to at least get it started, keep it in the background. And hopefully once you finish it, I can watch the anime. We are going to be watching, wait, uh, voice. So the language is going to be English, meaning the subtitles is going to be English. And then the voice is going to be Japanese. So it's going to remain authentic to the the voice actors. If you want to watch anime, I watch it in the sub. I don't watch it dubbed. There's only a few anime that I watch dubbed is because I started watching a dub and the dubbed isn't that bad. Like Dragon Ball Z, Goku's voice and the Japanese character who does Goku's voice is so freaking annoying. It's like high pitched voice and it's a total buzzkill. <laughs> um, same thing with like Death Note. Well, the voice, the Death Note voice, uh, voice acting is the bad for English. It's just I started watching it in English and I'm fine with it. Same thing with Naruto, but everything else, um, all other mainstream stir stuff, I would say stir, uh, all the other mainstream, mainstream stuff. I watch everything in subbed, uh, authentic voice acting, Japanese, big believer in that. Um, so yeah, language English voice is going to be Japanese. This is going to be a long playthrough. We're going to try to do some cool voice acting where I can, but I don't know if I'm going to get a chance. I don't know anything about visual novels don't know anything about this anime's visual novel um don't know what anything a visual novel usually has like this is a murder mystery or something like that if i'm guessing it's from like the first one the anime but i've never played the visual novel version part uh version of this so this is going to be interesting uh to play there are the visual novels that i want to play i just have to make sure i play the ones that you're allowed to sh you're out to take videos and share it on youtube because there are some where if you play it they just copyright your channel um but i do have like five different shorter visual novels that i've downloaded or bought on steam not downloaded but i've uh, downloaded them um bought them on steam so we'll be playing them eventually but for now let's start this one keep it in the background as we play other games 
well, I'm not gonna play other games right now, but I'm like overall we'll still run our main games, and this is probably most likely gonna be um, uploaded in the in the evening time. Uh, PSD California beaches, whatever that time is for you guys. All right, so language is there. So yeah, I can't see my reticle. I have no idea why, but there's just no reticle in this game. I don't know why. I I, I was gonna play controller because I couldn't see a reticle. I thought it was a problem, but I don't think there's a reticle overall. Um, load game, no, we don't have any game. We'll go to new game. Like, I thought this game would have reticle for me to click stuff, but I can scroll with my scroll on my mouse. I can go W as A S D to go up and down. Um, I click options. What's an options? Background music. I'm fine with that. Actually, I'm gonna lower the background music just a tad bit. Text volume. Adjust the volume for sound effect. Voice volume. Fine with that. Reticle speed. Where is the reticle speed? Movement bob. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 go up. Movement bob. Stop whether your view bobs as you move. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Or is movement bob like motion blur? I'm cool with motion blur. I've never been a big uh, hater of motion blur, but I know a lot of people are when they're watching other people play. Okay, so we're gonna start from the beginning. I really wanna click what extras are, but we're not going to. These are all locked. And again, this is gonna be a very long playthrough. But my goal is to play like an hour a day or hour every other day, or maybe two hours. Um, but I'll try to keep the episodes around an hour. So I can't, it won't be any 30 minute ones and probably will be like an hour and a half ones, but I'm going to try my best to keep these at an hour, even though you wasted seven minutes. Let's do this. Also, this is not going to be a hundred percent run. This is just us to play and enjoy um, without any side effects. Let's do it. Oh. Please choose a difficulty level. Logic difficulty, average difficulty for those who want to enjoy mystery solving. Increase time limit and plenty of hints for those who want to enjoy the story. More choices during arguments. Perfect if you're good at solving mysteries. I don't know if I'm good at solving mysteries. Uh, I've done a bajillion escape rooms. Um, average difficulty level for those who want to enjoy the position. Those who are good at solving the difficulty is a major bully. Hmm. I don't play visual novels, so they might. Dials back to action difficulty. Ah, uh, this is a tough one. Average difficulty for those who want to enjoy the solving, enjoy solving the mystery. Those who are good at some difficulty is a major bully. I don't know. Major bully is what throws me off. I'm guessing we're gonna have a very short time limit, or? Like if it's COD stuff, FPS stuff, man, we crank it up to the max, but I don't know about this stuff. You know what? Forget it. Let's just do it. Oh, I'm so excited. See? Intro doesn't work? Space works? Yes. No! Wait, what happened? Oh, okay, I press space and it accidentally put on auto. I don't want it to be on auto. You seem. Uh, All right, so I won't talk. Um, I'll I'll let the dude talk in Japanese and then I won't read it off and then I'll see if there's if I don't have like a voice actor like a person. Well, I'm going to be playing. I don't know what a visual novel is again, but we'll see. If I was hoping there would be like a main character that I voice, then it'll be fine. Otherwise, if he's just going to be talking the entire time, then I don't want to mess that up. We'll just, we'll just see how it goes. Oh, wait, this is blue. I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think dis disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Think, 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 come on, think! As I gathered the fag fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. That's right, I, I, I don't remember. All right, this feels weird having a, having a headset on and talking. I can't hear my own voice in a way, so it feels weird, but we'll get into it. Starting PCS version 101, 1.01. 1 .01. Heart star, okay. Dunkin Donuts 2, goodbye despair. Game start. 
I'm not doing anything, by the way. Duncan Downis, goodbye, despair. Let's do this. It'll be fun to make thumbnails for this, because I could just go to like this Euro channel or whatever. That day, it wasn't a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. Oh, is that me? When that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way that I can't really put into words. I, I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Ooh, what is that? It's like a government building. Hope's Peak Academy. All right, so orange. Okay, white is someone else talking to us, the voice actors. Um, blue is us talking and our like own thoughts. And then yellow is, I'm guessing, just surroundings, environments, things related to that. Uh, fourth wall, basically. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer will join, will long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Okay, again, I never play this game, don't know the dialogue, so sometimes I might fumble my words because I usually try to add my own spin to them. Hope's Peak Academy is a government funded school for the privileged elite of society. All right, one second, let me set my mic. Okay. It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire, hope, and in doing so, shape the future. Whenever Hope Speak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, If you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of the school. I was going to say Illuminati of the school. Well, that's basically that what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. Noise. There are two criteria. That's my bad, it's me. There are, two, blah, blah, blah. there are two criteria you must meet in order to attend the school. One, you must be current high school student. Two, you must be very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope Peaks Academy operates. Hope's Peak Academy is so hard to say as a mouthful operates. Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desire more than anything else, the truth is, well, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I can guess I can put that for aside for now. I can put that aside for now. We'll talk about it later. I'm just going to add stuff there for fun. You'll soon find out enough. And it's nothing special we're talking about. Well, at least I think so. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first, right? It just feels... Alright, uh, isn't, isn't it me? This is me. Why am I not talking? まあ、これも決まりだから。と、そう思うことにしてやっておこう。うん。オレの名前はひなた始めだ。ひなたフロム。ひなた。ひなた。ひなた。ひなた。ひなた。ひなた。ひなた。ひなた。ひなた。ひ
Until now. I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why. Hope. I might have admired talent individuality, but I have finally, forever, tried my best. Finally came true three plus D. Okay, I don't know what the hell is happening. He's having a stroke. Huh? What is this? I think he just had a stroke. Because he's, he's having wet dreams about a building. It's, it's a door. There's a door. So, uh, I need to hurry. Because I, I need to go inside this classroom. I don't want to be late on my first day. Need? Uh, what need? No, 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 no. I, I should hurry. Open the door, dog. This dude's getting hard on for a door. Alright. Better be sure he's in here. Hell yeah, it's a fat dude. Okay, wait. I don't... Oh, chick in the back. I want him as a kid to make love to her. Consensually. Consent. Uh, Alright, cool. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. That shit was on the very right with the ribbon, the couture, whatever that thing is called, around her neck. Or it looks like the chick who would be Chef Boyardee's wife. I don't know. Huh? Okay, I don't get who's talking. Okay, so that's them talking to me. Wow, yeah, chick in the back, right, right there in the middle. Her. That's gonna be our love interest. Yeah, I'd respond, but I don't know who the hell is talking to me. Oh, the chick in the back, too, in the pink. That's crazy. She's cool. A little goth vibe going on. I dig that. Look at Chef, Mrs. Chef Boy already right there. Shorty, I think I am, dog. I think I am. Are you sure there weren't more freshmen? It looks like the fat dude ate one of the classmates. Uh, these guys? Uh, everyone? The freshmen who were accepted into Hope's Peak Academy? The, 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 the ultimates? I kind of over exaggerated that. Gathered? Did you guys go through that door too? Did you guys suffer a stroke in the middle too? Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Am I doing everyone's voice? Hey, uh, uh, yes, of course. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students just like me, even this dude just ate another classmate. That's right, first impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to get my thug out and act more confident. Does to hide my nervousness from the others. Wait, that's country. That's country, my bad. A while trying to get my best. I gotta, I just gotta talk normal. That's the thug way. I just, yeah. I, uh, I'm trying to put a thug voice on and like it just comes out as country. I'm trying my be very best to act cool. I don't want to talk to the fine shorty. Where's she at? I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier with that door and that stroke? We'll just do random voices. I don't, I don't care. I wanted to be here. And then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. As if I was drawn to it like a, like a, like a country girl wearing a sundress on an open moon near the river bank on a truck. I don't know. But how did I walk in this classroom? Did I use my third leg? I don't remember. Something's weird. Um, excuse me. Who's talking? No. Bad dude again? Dude, what do you want to eat me? Or eat me out? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so is there like an entrance ceremony or a homeroom thing happening right now? <laughs> Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss who is talking. It says Hajime Hinata on the left, but who? Shimarida. Okay, you're talking a little bit. You can't do that. Either you talk all the way or you don't talk at all, voice actor Japanese homie. Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. Hey, this is it. I can't do a chick's voice. My voice is too deep for the... Hey, this is Erewhon. How do you know? <laughs> well, there are only 16 students in this class. 16 desks in this classroom. 
and I ate the 17th dude. And this guy's a 17th student. I don't know. I'm just... Our backstory is he ate somebody. It's obvious you bother to think about it. If you bother to think about it. Wait, this is a dude or a chick? I think it's a chick. Either way, Chef Boyardee's wife. Or a lover. Let's just go with lover. Because you don't know the gender. And just what are we going to talk about? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? <laughs> First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, who looks the most tastiest? Is there anyone who actually remembers how they came inside to this classroom? Uh, I can never do those sounds. I like the guy in the middle. If I had like a little, you know, dude on dude action going, I think I'd choose the guy in the middle so far. Dude on the very right with a janitor outfit on. Look at his teeth. That dude would just, that dude would just chop it off if he put his mouth on it. We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. Why am I doing country, man? No, Why would they raise their hand? So before you realized that you were in this classroom, then everyone was here in the same predicament. No matter how you look at it, it's, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? Okay, talk to yourself, homie. Look at, look at you. Okay, I was about to say something real bad. All right, freckled with a red chick. Cool, red hair, hair chick. Um, it sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here, huh? Hey, what do you mean stupid looking? Just because I got them freckles and them red hair doesn't make me stupid looking. Somebody. The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness and now you're here? Don't know why? <laughs> that is what I experienced. Oh, I thought he was being rude. Never mind. I saw I put on a British accent because you, you want to sound snobby. Um, that is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true for all of you? That happened to me too, but I ate the other dude. Uh. That dizziness wasn't just me. Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. I can't do a chick voice, man. Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence, then? Huh? Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. This is basically the same thing that's happening with the first episode, or the first anime. They just got dropped into some room. Um, who, who's responsible? Again, why aren't there voice actors? I don't get it. W what is it? it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. Why do I keep saying country? Alright, this dude literally is just like 54 years old. Why is he at high school? Pedophile? I don't know what you're so worried about, but that just doesn't sound like a huge deal to me. Huh? What do you mean? This dude, this dude would just chop it right off, man, with his mouth. Why does he have a pitch sticker or a bolt? And what is that? A paddle? He looks like a spank. That's why it's the sticker. Or is that archery? I don't know. What do you mean? You are. I mean, it's a minor problem. What is the point of these voice actors coming into the booth to say, Ugh! and not the entire line? Just say the entire line. I mean, it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. Okay. Um, is there not uh, giving presets? Automatically advance the text. Hold the control key, increase the speed if you hold the S key at the same time. I don't even I'm, I have blank key caps. Okay, I don't even know what the control key is. While you're in free time, you can give people presents. Simply select the present you like to give, then press. Okay, thanks for spoiling that, you loser. Auto mode. Okay, it just repeats. Excuse me, if you're ever making a game, don't ever do this. When you scroll down, it just goes right back up. Don't ever do that. This is garbage. Okay, so... Yeah. They're, I don't know when the voice acting is actually going to happen, or there's no voice acting, which I'm fine with, but I mean, why did they talk to me in the beginning with the voice language? Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. Oh, there she is. Hell yeah. Huh? What do you mean we can't leave? Eh? Yeah, seriously? I watched him rush over to that door and try with all... Oh, it's a dude. My bad, dog. I just gave you the chick voice. Mr. Chef Boyardee. That's the actual dude. I like his little side braid, though. Is that hair on the left side braid of his scalp? Or is that his actual, like, meat of his scalp that he braided in? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to oh, pull it open, but... Clatter, clatter, clatter. My bad. I didn't know it was going to make the sound. Oh, no. It won't open. I, I, I can't open it. Huh? Why? 
a little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a dump. But that door wouldn't budge at all, so I took a dump in the corner behind the podium. Oy, oy. Hey, hey, so that's what that smell is. What's going on, dog? Even with all my mind, I just took a dump and I couldn't do it, so I tried to open the door again, but it'd be absolutely impossible for, I, for all of you to do it if I couldn't do it. So my voices are all over the place. What do you mean you couldn't open it? Yeah, that's not possible. Why? Dude, I wish I had ways to do like chick voices, man. She's right. It's impossible. Because when I went through that door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Why am I doing country, man? Though I don't understand what forces I work here. Yeah, you can tell she's British. There's no denying that we've been locked inside this classroom. L locked inside? What do you mean, locked inside? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders, passing through my spine into my crotch. Maybe, maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? I don't know. I'm just a dude with weird looking teeth. Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? I like this guy. The entrance exam? You mean Hope Peaks Academies? But according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. They may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually like a special entrance exam that no one knows about. Oh, uh, you're wrong. This is not an entrance exam at all. Wait, what was that just now? It's probably the... Hey, fat ass, why'd you make that QC voice all of a sudden? Is it the dude you ate? Is he in your belly still alive talking to us? <laughs> I, won't dispute, I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Oh, hell yeah. Huh? And whose was it? I know. Um, it's actually mine. <laughs> who's there? Where are you? <laughs> Show yourself. It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk, but isn't that where the dude took a dump? That's gross. Behind the teacher's desk? You mean the podium? <laughs> Alright. I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin. Yeah, we're just gonna do random voices. I can't. I don't have the brain cells to know and remember which voice I gave to everybody. So, I don't know why I'm talking country. I just, I'm, I can't talk in my normal voice. I've forgotten how my normal voice talks like. See, all of a sudden I just went British or Australian. I don't even know. So we'll just we'll just hit it till we can hit it, back it up and dump it. Go it back. Please, Japanese voice actors. All right. So, okay, the, the text is perfect, but the video quality of like the, the, the interaction or whatever is kind of kind of hazy. Like a little blurry. It looks doesn't look 4K to me. Um, what is that? Uh, this is the panda bear, but she's a chick. The first anime, if you guys have not watched, there was a panda bear just like this, but it was a dude, and he looked like actual panda with a really nasty navel uh, belly button area thingy. It was all popped out, and it was like, what's the word? In, um, embossed, embossed, or like the opposite of that. But um, yeah, so this time it's a shorty. It's cool. I'm down with that. Alright, so I'm guessing cutscenes have voice acting, everything else doesn't. Which is full, I'm fine with that. Mysterious music, let's get into it. Alright, we'll call her Usami until we come up with a name that actually fits her. But for now, she is Magical Miracle Girl Usami. 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 All I see is USA me. And we're out of the cutscene already. Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? Nah, man. I see this thing too, dog. What's with this talking chihuahua, man? Hey, man, that's a chihuahua? God damn. Is everybody 
Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am. A singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Wait, this entire time he was not a panda? Oh my god. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me process this first. Okie dokie, artichokey. Uh, what do you guys think? I I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. It's probably a remote controlled or something like that. I don't know. Don't act like such a mm? over a child's toy. Alright, this has language. I'm not gonna say words like that because they just sound gross to me. Even if it's a remote control, it doesn't look too lifelike. It's pretty advanced for a toy. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what I just said, what it just said. How can I, uh. Can I press space? No, I can't. I have to press mouse. Seems you know something about our current situation. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. School trip? Hey, what do you mean, school trip? A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with the lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the entire school year. We're not looking for such a literal answer. But, wait. Yeah, why is he talking? He shouldn't be saying this. He should go to somebody else. Now, let's depart for the fun school trip, shall we? Depart? We're, we're leaving? Alright, I'm cool for all that pink stuff, man. I'm down. Magical stuff? Hell yeah, dog. Oh, this is pretty tight. If you guys are watching this, might put it in like 1440p or something. Um, maybe that'll help you guys. Maybe this game is not so you. I'm playing on a 4K this 4K display right now. Um, Ajime Hinata. Dot dot dot. Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. Not not just my eyes, but my brain too, dog. The world just stopped making sense. Classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was a blue sky, white clouds. Blue sea, white waves. What the hell is this? Alright, so since I'm gonna be voice acting, as soon as I know what I'm gonna be saying, I'm just gonna press enter so I can keep the uh, flow going. What the hell is this? No matter how I try to rationalize it, it was abnormal, clearly unreasonable, utterly crazy, blatantly wrong. No one talks like that, dog. Ooh, okay, cool. We're back in 4K. Uh, um. What? This, this is a joke, right? I'd be happy. Why are these guys freaked out? I'd be happy. Where are we? And look at all those fluids coming out of her mouth holes. Face holes. Huh? What's going on? Everyone, please stay calm. There's no reason to panic, see? Look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. Is that a camera? On the left, yeah. Uh, feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on, give us the details. Where in the world are we? Where, you ask? Well, obviously we're out where it's better. You know, out where it's wetter. You know what I mean? Out by the sea. I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? You know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. But we were just at school and now we're by the sea? This is impossible. Please don't worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. But, like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. She's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope Peaks Academy. Hope's Peak Academy. Ah, Hope's Peak Academy. I see, I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope Peaks Academy, huh? Well then, in that case, please forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Hey, what are you? What's just what are you scheming? What? I'm not, I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake, man. I'll take you to the goddamn beach. Get wet, dog. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. 
There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. Feel free to believe me and trust me, for I can't lie. So please, there's no need to worry at all. The island? Wait, did you did you just say island? <laughs> yup, and it's certainly beautiful, isn't it? It was prepared just for us. An island free from other people and danger. This is actually cool because last first anime took place in a classroom. A uh, high school area set. So it's pretty cool if we're doing this on an island. I'm really excited for this. Um, on the top left, it says Mrs. Monomi's practice lesson. I don't know if that's the name of the soundtrack. I'm missing is the name of the soundtrack. Soundtrack. Are you saying this island is inhab inhabited? That's not the word. Uninhabited. Why can't I think of the word? Uninhabited. Inhabited. Habitat. Why can't I say this word? Inhabited. Uninhabited. Uninhabited. I don't know. I, I, I just I said it 20 times. Perhaps you brought us to this uninhibited, un un uninhibited island to make us kill all each other. Why would you go straight to that? Calm down, dog. Uh, what? Kill each other? No way. Bloody business, like causing violence or inflicting pain? That's a big no-no on this island. You guys are of age. Even the word kill just it just horrifies me, man. Don't say that. Yeah, oh my god, so scary. Then, what is the school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this on this island? Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right this second. While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That is the main rule on the heart throbbing school trip. No. A heart throbbing school trip? Now, I've never heard anyone describe a school trip like that. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovely dovey heart throbbing school trip is everyone's homework. Yeah, I gotta click earlier so I can finish the sentence correctly instead of having to pause. What? Oh, on the left, it says the people's name who's talking. Okay, cool. What the hell does that even mean, dog? Now then. Let the heart. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about, man. I couldn't follow her words at all. How do we know it's a chick? Just because she's pink? And then just like that, like a like current is slowly lowering, man. Oh, I thought I was going to say more. My mind ground to a halt. Dead Island, huge panic at the heart of something. Hajime Hinata, that's us. Don't care about her. I want Hajime Hinata to get it on with maybe her. Oh yeah, her for sure, her for sure. Akani Awari. Mm, pass. Pass. That's gonna be our main love interest, that chick. Not this one. Pass. Uh, and that dude in the middle right there. This guy's clearly like 35 years old. Question 45. Welcome to Dangan Island. Duncan Island. Duncan Donuts up in the cell. Are you okay? Uh, I'm trying to read everything that comes with the thing. Nudes? His name's Nude. And the, and the pink chick, too. The gothic one. So we got two female love interests and one dude love interest. Actually, no. Three female love interests and the one dude love interest. They got all the band aids or whatever. We'll go for that, too. And then that one dude. Where is that one dude? Not him. Well, I, I'd make love to myself. Why not? Huge panic at the something something. Would you like to save your current progress? Why wouldn't I not want to? That is a weird question to ask. Sure. Um, empty slot number one. You know what? No, I'm gonna do number one. I was gonna do number two. I, I was gonna be like that. That be a little bit too much for the for the game. What if I do the game off by not? What up, cuh? Yeah, I can hear you, dog. Yeah, dog, I'm good, dog. What you worried about, you homie? I, I do seem pretty out of it. You want to give me some math to math CPR, dog? I bet. Is there a reason you're like invading my personal space over here? I'm over trying to get it on. Yeah, I'm listening, homie. I'm just in my groove, dog. 
This dude loves to just come up on us. Wait, can I- is this like a free open world? No, it's not. I was, got ex I was about to get excited. Hey, are you sure you're okay? <sighs> leave me alone, doc. You just- I'm, leave me alone. Uh, there's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. Dude, we're on an island. Well, I got no sunscreen, no nothing on, dog. What you think this is? White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean, and my pale skin, dog. The sun rays beaming down on me. This soft, tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Why Why did Why did this happen, man? Why Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we're, we're on a tropical island? Like, what the hell, man? Yeah, you're right. Man, I have no idea what's going on, man. But I see, your, I see your clavicle bone, that that bone cleavage. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Is that dirt trash? No, that's a bird. My bad. I thought that thing literally looks like a newspaper flying in the air. Welcome to Dunkin' Donuts Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the mouse, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. What reticle on the screen? If the reticle responds, press the left button. You can examine that person or object. Also, you can shift your point of view with the WASD keys. What reticle, man? Plus, if you press the tab key, you can use a mysterious power to see everything you can examine. You can use a mysterious power to see everything you can examine. Oh, like an instinct button. All right, cool. Or a focus button. The world sure has become super inconvenient, super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go. I guess so. Now then, please search this beach thoroughly and progress the story. Oh, the reticle. Uh, is that his third leg just hanging out there? That's pretty gross. Let me tuck it in, dog. Put it back in, dog. What is that? Can I examine the bird? Coconut tree. I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree, but now, now is not the time for me to be impressed by it. I bet. Well, let's, before I talk to that guy, I should try to understand the situation I'm in first. Why not talk to him and get information on the, the, the thingy? There's a monitor. This is being live broadcast. Why is there a monitor like this? Check for a wire, dog. The screen is blank. What is this being used for? Check for a wire, dog. Turn it on, dog. Press the knobs, dog. Coconut tree. I'm gonna... Umi, right? Umi. The crystal clear shine of blue sky. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just what's going on here, dog? I never wanted anything like this at all. No, no, no. Camera. Oh, there you go. Surveillance camera. Again. Check the camera, batteries, wires, Bluetooth connection. Where is it being connected to? Is that a camera? Like a like a surveillance camera? Wait, are we being monitored or something? I just butchered that word. I, I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for, you know, our safety or or maybe it's just some pervert watching us out there. <laughs> well, let's waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. Alright, you're an idiot. Okay, this guy, our love interest, but he's an idiot. What's with this guy? How can we so calm in a situation like this? It literally has this thing out. It's pretty gross. Maybe he's just a chill guy. So, how are you feeling? Are you, uh, are you calm down? I understand your confusion after everything that's happened, but why don't we start with an introduction, right? How about that? Introduction? I'm Nagito. Okay, are you, they need to give me a heads up if this homie's gonna talk, man. I'm Nagita Komita. Nice to meet you. Ultimate lucky student. So his um, trait is that he's lucky. How the hell do you introduce? How do you? How the hell do you? Do you do exam? How do you sh show proof that you're lucky to get into the school? I don't understand that. Maybe he's lucky, so that's why he just got into the school. I don't know. Ah, along with my introduction, I guess I'll also tell you about my talents. You know, you know, you know why I'm here and why the Hopi Academy shows me. <sighs> Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A, dis a disappointing talent? What do you mean? Uh, I'm lucky. You know? Like, lucky with the chicks? Lucky with what? What are you talking about, dog? No, 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 it's not a joke or anything. That's that's literally my actual talent. 
I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least, oh, well, that's what I'm called anyways. I'm guessing lucky. Now just not, I just got lucky. It means you just, you know, you just bump bellies. So I'm guessing that's the reason he's lucky. I don't know. Ultimate lucky student. Due to a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at a random. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Random to attend. The Academy. Uh, as the Academy and the Ultimate Lucky Student. We're, we're not going to call it Hope. It's Hope's Peak Academy because I hate saying that. We're going to say Hope Academy or we're just going to say The Academy. Um, as the Ultimate Lucky Student. And that winner, that lucky winner just so happened to be me. That makes sense. Chosen by a lottery? Is that is that really okay? I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? Wow, it's crazy, man. It's strange. Your face looks troubled. Yeah, because literally you're a douche. Oh, no, I'm not troubled or anything. No, 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 it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this, too. You seem excited, though. I never thought an average talentless high school student like me would ever enter the academy, which makes sense that he's pretty calm about this, because, dude, if you're like... You just got accepted to this kind of academy, and all of a sudden you got transported to a beach, homie probably is, like, you know, poor from the projects. So, man, I'd be happy. If it was me, a project kid, when I was younger, I lived in the projects. And if me, you just you just transported me to an island, a tropical island, I, I with a bunch of shorties, I ain't mad about that, dog. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it. But then, they told me that they really wanted me to attend. Apparently, this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. That seems shady as hell, I wouldn't go. Especially from the projects, I ain't trusting anybody, dog. The academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend the academy. So far, I'm grateful for that, man. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Ah, oh, sorry, man. I just I have a bad habit of viewing most things through like a pessimistic lens. You're not pessimistic at all, man. Like the opposite of that. Well, yeah, I guess um, that's it for my intro. Um, I'm Nagita Komita, huh? He doesn't seem like the most re reliable guy. He doesn't strike me as a bad person either, but he seems like an idiot. Mm. Now then, uh, it's your turn. Oh yeah, dog man. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm Hajima Hinata, dog. What up, dog? Mm. Let me ask you a question then. What's your ultimate talent? Um, I uh, I opened my mouth, but the words just they wouldn't form. I, I felt like my thoughts stalled into my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words, and instead I just found blank pages. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory... The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Huh? Without realizing it, my body began to erect, I mean shudder, as the waves of discomfort began pounding against me. Hajime, what happened, man? What's happening? Ah, uh, it's, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all of this. I'm having troubling. I'm having trouble remembering, you know, some things. Hmm. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. <laughs> I'm sure you'll remember soon enough. Once we're settled down, don't, don't sweat about. So I don't think you need to worry about all that stuff, man. You're right. <laughs> then I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Cool dude, man. I like this guy. Obtained a hope fragment. Hey, does, does something just beep? Wait, what was that weird sound? I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket, and that's right, that's strange. Mechanical sounds just now definitely came from inside of my pocket. Wait, e handbook. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a public display of affection or a smartphone. Why is it something like this? Why is something like this inside my pocket, man? Usami was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh, right, you seem pretty out of this. So she just snuck it into your pocket. Now, well, now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but what is this again? <laughs> it's an E handbook. What the? Where'd you come from? <laughs> oh, did I just startle you? My bad, man, my bad. <laughs> I know you kind of know how to apologize like a good girl. Okay, it is a shorty then. <laughs> anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for the school trip, so make sure you don't lose them, huh? This... this device is important? How so? I've asked everyone to use their e-handbook to gather all the hope fragments. Hope fragments? Okay. On this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. 
Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school field trip. Low, low. Oh, is this one of those dating games? Hey, she, she's gone. Stuffed animal like moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. I would have grabbed that hoe and I would have like tugged on her or something like that. And I would have beat the hell out of her, how to get formation out of her. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was all that about hope fragments? What the hell are hope fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> this feels like a game? That's actually rather comforting, man. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. Ah, you're probably right, but more importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. That's also true, but where did everyone go? Maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? Well, as long as you're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and like, you know, living arrangements? <laughs> so why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and then explore the island all together at the same time? Pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. Yes. Shall we get going then? That is cool. I would get along with others. Find the shorties, talk to them, establish some friendships, find a place for food, shelter, stuff like that. But is this really okay? Also, is this like an open world? It says level one daytime prologue. To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation. Well, that's the thing. You gotta be relaxed. You gotta stay calm. Or they gonna get you from the back, dog. They gonna get you from the back. Perhaps it's the tropical climate. Or it's... What's her name? Usami's fault? What is it, Ajime? Let's get going, dog. Right, right, man. Let's go. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Well, what kind of nightmare is that? You are now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the e-handbook with the F1 key. Super easy. If only I knew what my goddamn F1 key was. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and report card, which documents everyone's information. There are various features inside the handbook. You can also save and reload your game inside the handbook. Please, um, uh, please check the system page as well. But wait, there's more. You can also view the transcript with F2 key. Uh, I, I, my keyboard is a 60% keyboard. I don't have those keys readily available to me. That's all there is about the handbook. I strongly recommend you play around with it yourself. Now then, please go back and forth. Uh, please go forth and look for everyone else. All right, you can exit the beach uh, with the R key. Okay, so... Just F1. Okay, E handbook. Um, Map. Uh, review the map of Jabawaski Island. You can travel to specific locations. I don't know what that is. Presence. Review any personal belongings you have on you. We... Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh. I'm guessing a hundred? More than a hundred. 140 items. A lot. Report card. Review the report cards of each person who's attending the school trip. Okay, so yeah, we have one hope fragment. I think we got from talking to this guy. Where's the shorty at, though? This is the one, right? Hell yeah. I want to talk to her. Height, chest? That is too descriptive. Okay, uh, QE. Okay, so our. We are this on me right here. We have a 36 inch waist, 5'8, 147 pounds. Let's tap a date of birth. Let's just make everybody of age. All right. Likes Kusamochi, dislikes Sakura Mochi. Guessing that's food. Special notes, ultimate. I'm guessing that's shorties probably likes and dislikes. Kusamochi and Sakura Mochi. Um, Nagito, he's 5'9, 33 inch away, his blood type O. So yeah, he is lucky. He has his blood type O. Um, pretty things. Oh, I like pretty things too. Ultimate lucky student. Fatty. Scar. Chomp teeth. Look at this dude. Look at his teeth, man. 
Chef Boyardee chick or homie. The dude is clearly like 95 years old. He, how did he even get here, dog? This guy with the rosy cheeks and the mole and the freckles and the weird hairstyle and the widow's peak. But I do like the suit. He reminds me of, um, what's that homie's name? Uh, Barney Stinson. All right, this chick. This is going to be our main love interest. Ass. Second love interest. Ass. Ass. Third love interest. No, no. Third love interest. Fourth love interest. And then we'll go for... For dudes, this, is, this will be our only love interest for dudes. Some dude on dude action. <clears throat> if that's even done in this game, I don't even know. I'm just guessing. Okay, what is this? Review the rules of the school trip. These All these rules and enjoy yourself. Extreme violence is prohibited. What else? Be considerate of each other. What else? Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. The lead teacher can directly interfere with the students. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates the rule. Okay, we only got four rules, and I'm guessing we'll be adding more rules. Like in the anime, he kept adding rules. Pet. You'll be able to raise your own adorable e-pet. Hope meter. Come on, let's raise it. Clean. Uh, I can't do anything. No radical or nothing. Pressing space, nothing happened. What is this? System. Save. Yeah, we'll go ahead and save. I'm using the key keyboard for all this. Overwrite? Yeah, overwrite this. Dang, dog. Transcript. Records all statements and events as they unfold. So that's F2, right? Okay. Options. Return to the title. What's options? Um, okay. I'm guessing this game is old. That's why it doesn't have... We talked to this guy. We already looked in this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just look around. There I go. There's anything here? All right. Um, we're gonna exit. What are we at? 57 minutes, and this is a good place to stop. So we're gonna click. Um, go here. Yeah. You save the game, right? Okay. So we'll just go F1. And we'll go down here. Saved it, right? Yeah. Turn to title. Dangan Ronpa. Now we're gonna call it Dunkin' Donuts. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I this is exactly how I expected it to be. Lost the talking. Um, cutscenes are the only places where we'll actually hear the Japanese voice actors and no cutscenes, we'll have to do the voices for everybody. My voice is like on the deeper end, so I can't really do um, chick voices. So whatever voice comes to mind, whether it's British, it's Italian accent, Russian accent, whatever accent that I come up with, I'm just going to say it. I won't be able to remember. Oh, there's that chick, our love interest. Um, so whatever language or whatever word I come up with, I'll just go with that or the, 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 the accent. There's no way for me to actually be like, oh, we need to remember this is how this person talks this person has a country this person has that um so far enjoying it i will this is still, we're still in the prologue i'm guessing once we leave the island or that area we might leave the end the prologue but i wanted to end it there i think an hour is good um like i told you guys i just woke up from a fat nap so i'm gonna go eat and then we might play something else this game is gonna be on the side this game is not gonna be something we're gonna be rushing this game is not gonna be something we're gonna be playing for hours every single day unless we're like super addicted to it or something then we will but i'm not gonna rush myself to playing this this is gonna game on the side we're playing and if the i'm gonna try to go on a normal pace this is the hardest difficulty we're playing on um i'm also gonna make sure that we just have fun because I, i'm basically watching this so i can watch the next anime and then i'm usually not for these huge long visual novels for me, a game like this needs to be shorter, like 10 hours or less, but we'll see. Um, again, I want to watch the anime, so I need to kind of watch this. I could watch like a reader review or a watch a video on somebody who reviews it and then just go on for that. But I thought it'd be a kind of cool thing, a cool way for me to get introduced and start doing visual novels. Um, but we're going to play some more later on. Again, no concrete schedule for this. It's just going to be whenever I want to play, whenever I feel like it, there might be an episode. Um, there might be consecutive episodes or there might be nothing. So this is just going to be a series we do on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. If anyone does, 
and um i will see you guys later take care and have a great night since it is like 9 10 p.m here peace